Welcome to today's Node-RED tutorial. In this session, we'll build a dynamic table on the Node-RED dashboard that displays JSO data and enables users to generate CSV file from this data with a single click. Node 1, Inject Node. The Inject Node serves as the starting point of our flow. It's configured to inject predefined JSO data containing information about individuals, their names, ages, and cities. Node 2, Change Node. Next, the change node is employed to store the injected data into NodeRed's flow context. This storage mechanism allows us to access and manipulate the data throughout the flow. Node 3, UI Table Node. The UI Table Node is pivotal in our flow as it visually represents the stored data in a structured table format on the NodeRed dashboard. It formats and displays each person's name, age, and city in separate columns. Node 4, UI Button Node. To facilitate CSV file generation, we integrate a UI Button Node on the dashboard. This button, labeled Download CSV, triggers the subsequent steps to convert the displayed table data into a downloadable CSV format. Node 5, Function Node. In this critical step, the Function Node takes on the task of converting the structured data from the UI Table Node into CSV format. It iterates through each dataset entry and constructs CSV-compatible string format. Node 6, File Node Finally, the File Node plays a pivotal role in saving the generated CSV file to a designated location. Configured with the appropriate settings, it ensures the CSV file is created and stored securely for user retrieval. Great, you've successfully learned how to build and deploy a dynamic table on the Node-RED dashboard complete with data visualization and CSV export capabilities. For those eager to try this flow themselves, remember to check the video description for access to the flow's code. Check out this right side video to learn how can we automate to generate the PDF file using NodeUp. Thank you for joining us in today's NodeRed tutorial. We hope you found this session informative and valuable. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing for more NodeRed insights and project ideas. Feel free to leave your feedback and questions in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding!